Nerds, I am back. Welcome to Nerd Magic. Time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay, nerds, I am going to show you how to get and install and talk about the latest and greatest Weather ROM 5.0.4 on your LG V20. This ROM is actually going to fix that stupid static screen once and for all. And the link is in the description below. It will send you to this URL and this will work on nearly all of your LG V20. It will work on the T-Mobile version, the AT&T version, Verizon, the US 996. Unfortunately, it hasn't been tested on Sprint. So if you are on Sprint, make sure to do a backup before you test this shit. I know some issues that you have when you install a foreign ROM that is not currently made for your specific phone it can actually cause your phone to lose data and possibly even brick your goddamn shit okay once you get to the link just click on whichever friggin rom is for your specific lg v20 it will send you to this other url just download the shit i already got mine downloaded so i'm just gonna go into recovery right now when i say recovery i'm not talking about m and m <laughs> all right once you're in recovery click on wipe swipe do a factory reset after you finish doing that, you want to go to advance and we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache and cache. You guys know the drill. This is just my best practice. You do whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> and then you click on install. Then you locate the ROM. As I said, it's Weta ROM 5.0.4. And this shit is going to fix your static screen, guys. And it has a lot of cool new features as well. Okay, and we just have to go through the whole Weta GUI here. The whole Weta walkthrough. Click next. Select whichever one you're on. If you're on Verizon, Sprint, I mean Verizon, AT&T, you choose US 996 for AT&T. T-Mobile will just show up differently there. And then, huh, let's see, what am I going to choose here? Right here, you can just choose whatever the hell you want to choose. But when you reach to the kernel, just make sure you choose select the weather kernel. Because that's the one that I've tested and that's the one that got rid of the static screen. Okay, let's see what we got here. You know, you just got a lot of audios here, a lot of audio stuff. We got Dolby Atmos, all this extra shit. You know, I recommend if it's your first time installing Weta, you can try all of them. Just select everything, mess with it, see what you like. So then when you do your second installation, you can deselect the ones that you do not like. But you know, just a whole bunch of trial and error with the Weta ROM when it comes to audio. And right here again, just select whichever one. I'm just going to choose the one at the top. Again, you can select either or just mess with it. Once you have the weather ROM, it's not a one installation ROM. You have to install it, try it out a few times so that you can get the specific setting that best suits you. You got it? <laughs> okay, just make this install. Take a few seconds. Let's fast forward. Holy moly, amigos. I mean, amiibos. <laughs> Okay, once you're finished, you're just going to wipe the cache again. That's my best practice. And then from here, we're just going to reboot. Reboot the goddamn shit. Okay, nerds, so this shit took at least 10 minutes to reboot. And I restarted it twice. No static screen whatsoever. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And the ROM is moving buttery smooth. And again, there's some changes in this ROM if you're not familiar. We have the KSL color control. The static screen is fixed. They also fixed the LG theme in. They added a display custom config file. And there's a whole bunch more fixes and a whole lot more tweaks. I will let you guys know all of the fix, all of the modifications that they've changed and adjusted in this update. And if you like this video, please love and subscribe and have yourself an awesome day. I love you guys. Who turned off the light? <laughs>